Hey guys, how are you? Um, I can't even believe that I'm filming a video right now. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what to film. I don't know what to say. I'm super rambly. This is about the 18th take that I've tried to do right now today for you, but I gotta get something up. Like I just gotta get back in the swing of things and get back into real life because it's too much at this point. It's too much. I think it's been literally two months since I filmed any type of an update for y'all. I was pregnant then. I am not pregnant now. We can get a few things out of the way though. I will acknowledge my face being fatter, my boobs being a bit bigger, uh, and I have a baby over here. He's like right, right there. You can't see his head. You can only see the chair you're probably gonna start to hear him because like I said this is the 18th take of this video and he's, his nap time is almost over now what do I do what do I do um we'll hold up if we have to guys we, we gotta we gotta plow through this so um I kind of feel like I don't know what to throw in this video do I talk about you know my my labor my pregnancy how it's been with him what's affected my weight loss surgery my weight loss my weight gain what loss there's no loss there's only a gain so bear with me um I really feel like I need to think of if y'all can think of a cool name for this channel like a whew, cool name for my channel that's not VSG journey because that's that's not happening anymore that's not the sole focus of my channel obviously it will be that will be you know part of the content on my channel because that's part of me and who I am and I'm going to be embarking upon this new whole new weight loss journey again um postpartum now so that's definitely going to be some of the content on here but it's I can't just have it as weight loss surgery related like VSG journey no no but I can't think of like a cool name like Caitlin Glitter I don't know, like, what do I name my video on my channel? I have no idea. Um, so, shut the hell up. Um, okay, so, last video was pregnant. I had, um, gave birth on September 19th uh, at 12.05 a.m. I was induced. I was a week overdue. I was induced on that week mark, and, uh, I was still only, like, one centimeter dilated, so if they didn't induce me, I'd probably still be pregnant at this point in time. Um, but he was nine pounds one or two ounces I can't remember I'm a horrible mom like just it is what it is at this point I acknowledge it I don't know how many ounces the child was he was 20 inches long he was literally beautiful the labor was really good again I don't know if you guys want a video on the labor the induction process but I was induced at 11 o'clock in the morning had him at 12 5 the next morning it was just it was really good I had my obviously my boyfriend there my mom and two of my sisters were there it was really nice it was it was good um and you know he's doing great he's an incredible he's such a good baby literally he's like just sleeps through anything um he's waking up every three hours at night so only like two or three times a night to eat and then he's going right back to bed um he's just such a good baby he really is so good um I've struggled a bit with breastfeeding if you follow me on Instagram I was kind of asking begging for help um breastfeeding I was breastfeeding him initially and he wasn't gaining weight he lost some weight and then the second week he lost even more weight so then they had me pumping and adding breast for uh, breast film adding formula to his bottle to get the extra calories and I don't know if that was specifically related to having had weight loss surgery I did struggle with my first two in the beginning with you know my milk supply but then I was able to to breastfeed exclusively until I went back to work um, with him it just didn't excuse me it didn't work um, so at this point now the more that I'm pumping like I'm having to pump so we can measure what he's having add the supplement formula to it and then feed it to him so like not only is that taking up so much time but the more that I'm pumping because it's not him you know it's your body knows when you have a child feeding off of you your body knows to produce more when it needs to your body is kind of triggered by the ch the baby and his his motions and things like that to produce the milk and pumping doesn't really it simulates that to an extent but not completely so my milk supply is decreasing I've tried you know taking fenugreek and eating flaxseed and doing like the the lactation bars and um, eating oatmeal in the mornings like I've tried a lot of stuff doing certain teas but I'm not like one to, uh, there was yesterday I pumped and I got an ounce and a half like that's not okay nobody can live off an ounce and a half even a baby what's going on oh um so at this point I'm breastfeeding pump I mean at this point I'm pumping still but he's having now f actual formula bottles mixed in um so I know a lot of people are lucky enough to lose weight while they're breastfeeding. That's never been my 
experience, but especially now because I'm really not breastfeeding exclusively, so I'm not burning all those extra calories. So um, that has been a struggle. I was really hoping that I would lose weight from breastfeeding, but um, no ma'am, no ma'am. So when my weight, let's talk about my weight. Um, so when I weighed in, the last time I weighed in was a week before I gave birth and we scheduled the induction. Um, and I was up about 55 pounds. Um, I was up about 55 pounds, I believe, from what I remember of where I was when I got pregnant. Um, when I gave birth, from, from that point till now, I've lost about 25 pounds, which isn't a lot, considering he was almost 10 pounds and you have all this fluid and stuff in you, but it's something. So now I have about 30 pounds to go. Uh, it can get really depressing, like I'm looking at my face right now and... I don't know if I said this before, but like my face is so much fuller and round. And I think that's one thing that almost prevented me from filming videos throughout the process because it just was like in your face when I was watching it back. It's like, you know, I've put out all these videos about losing weight and now I'm going to put out a video where I've clearly gained weight. That kind of was just a struggle for me and it is right now, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, so, you know, there's that I've had to, I can't fit into my pre-pregnancy pants or my clothes. Like life is a struggle at this point. And it's, it's, I will say it is a little bit depressing, but we're not going to let it get us down. Are we? No, we're not. We are not. Um, I will say that throughout pregnancy, I kind of allowed myself to overindulge in things because, you know, this was going to be my last two raw, you know, I'm probably not ever going to get pregnant again. I needed, knew I needed to get back on the weight loss surgery patient diet and, you know, weight loss train afterwards. And I kind of just whooped it up and I went a little like overboard. So I was having like diet Coke and I was eating whatever I wanted, literally whatever I wanted. And now after the fact, trying to get back to like protein, 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 water, water, water is so hard, so hard. Um, it's really difficult. So I, I'm trying to figure out a time where, or <sighs> trying to figure out a time. Like that's such bullshit, Caitlin. I need to just do a reset is what I need to do. I kind of just need to shut it down. And I think a lot, I know a lot of it is being here at my house, being at home. I'm eating out of boredom. I'm, you know, home all day for the most part. And then I'm up a good chunk of the night. So I'm kind of just watching TV while I'm pumping. I want to gnaw on something while I'm feeding him. I want to chew on something like it's just being home and not really being active. Um, so I really need to just buckle down and need to go out and get some protein powder, protein shakes, and really just kind of commit myself to it because I feel gross. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I I'm not necessarily physically, like I know my face is fuller. It's not, I'm not thrilled with it. I know my stomach is bigger. I'm not thrilled with it, but I don't feel like disgusting on the outside. I feel physically feel slower and more tired and lethargic and just like I want to get the weight off the extra weight um I think now I have the bonus the added bonus of knowing what it feels like to be 50 pounds lighter you know before when I was heavier I had kind of always been heavy before I had surgery so I never know knew what that felt like um but now I know what it feels like to be you know 50 pounds lighter <laughs> And it felt so good and I want to get back there. Um, as far as exercise goes, it's fall. It's finally beautiful out. So I've been taking him on walks. I probably shouldn't even like acknowledge this or admit this out loud. But we have a Walgreens a few blocks down the street from us. So I'll put him in a stroller and walk to Walgreens with him to buy myself a Diet Coke and then walk back. Um, but I did find a really beautiful area in my city. Um, there's like this random castle. I don't even know why. But this random castle and it's surrounded by woods and trails and paths and a big old pond and it's really beautiful. I didn't even know about it until recently. So um, I've gone there the past three days. I didn't go this morning after I dropped the kids off because it was sprinkling out, but um, we I went with my mom and my kids and I, you know, obviously took Hendrix and just went for a walk and it's so beautiful. We've done, a, you know, two miles every time, which is really great. So I'm excited. And the more that I did that, I got on like my workout gear and my sneakers and I got really like, I felt so motivated to get out there and be, you know, moving. I f feel my body like warm up and like get moving it was just really great and like the more I was trying to like hike I call it hiking I really like took an extra big step over a big old rock or whatever but that's hiking to me so whatever as I was trying to like climb these steep hills and things and get my body moving and feel my muscles going like it just was so motivating so I am pumped to get back to the gym like can't even wait my six-week appointment 
with the doctor is next Monday and that's when you get cleared for exercising. I can't even wait. I really can't. I want to go do the cardio. I want to build my muscles back. I just, I can't wait. So I look forward to doing that. It's probably going to be nighttime workouts like it was in the past. Just, you know, when I put all the kids down and my boyfriend can be here in peace and quiet. So I'm really excited for that. Um, what else? I'm going back to work in about four weeks from today. Oh, that's so sad. Four weeks from today, but the amazing news is they actually have just introduced, I'll be the first um, participant, uh, bring your baby to work policy. So I have no idea how it's going to work out. I am so excited, but they're letting me bring him to work with me until he's six months old or can crawl. Um, and he'll just be with me all day. We don't have a daycare. He'll just be with me. I'll have, you know, his little bouncy chair, vibrating chair. Um, I don't know. It's going to be really interesting. I'm going to, I'm a manager in a call center. So I don't know how it's going to work out. I'm really like anxious and, and a little nervous about, you know, a crying baby in a call center. But um, I think I'm just, I'm excited. I'm obviously excited to have him with me. You know, that's extra time that we can bond together, less time I have to pay for daycare. So um, even though I'm going back to work, I'm still really excited that I get to bring him with me and still get to, you know, be a mom and not necessarily just a working mom. So I think that's about it for now. Um, once I get back into the swing of things, I'd like to do, I'm not even going to say the videos that I'm going to do because I'm probably not going to, I do have, um, some clothes coming in because again, I can't fit into any of my clothes. So I had to buy a, a higher pant size. I had to buy one size larger and some more shirts and stuff. So I have an order coming in hopefully soon that I can do like a little haul for you guys. And I did buy some really cute clothes on Amazon for Hendrix. They're from China though, so like the zero to three months is like way too big. But they're really, really cute little sets. So I don't know if you guys would like, or anybody out there would like to see an Amazon baby boy clothing haul. I might just do it because I'm sure somebody out there but will like to see that. But like because I've been home with him, I've been watching all of these like come shopping with me and people are just like showing what's in the stores, all the Halloween decorations, Christmas stuff is coming out all the inside the dressing room in try on clothing hauls I've been like glued to them that's like all that I've been watching so that's all that I want to film right now so again I can't just name this via Caitlin's VSG journey because I feel like it's gonna start to encompass so much more so if you have any creative cool ideas let me know Psh, something with spirit fingers <laughs> um but that's about it. So yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Thank y'all for hanging in there with me. I know it's been kind of crazy and I would like to get back to some kind of normal routine with this channel. I'm hoping to be able to do that. Like I said, I still have at least three full weeks where I'm not gonna be back at work. So maybe I can kind of get into the groove of things and get some videos produced and kind of get a more set schedule for you guys um, down in a better routine. So if you have any specific requests, um, let me know. Like I said, I, I really need to start getting back in the swing of things. So maybe like what I eat in a day video when I'm actually eating good things. Cause I don't want to show you guys the bag of chips that I just ate and the 20 ounce diet Coke. Um, I had one 20 ounce water and a coffee and that's what I've eaten today. So thank Jesus that my child is on formula because you know, and I think that's also one thing is like, oh, I don't have to, I'm not like his sole provider. So it's not like my priority to be eating super healthy. You know what I mean? So that's still not good. That's not good. That's not good. So thank you guys for putting up with me. Thank you guys for watching and sticking in there with me throughout this whole, this whole, my whole life, my whole YouTube career. Thank y'all career, my life. Um, I love each and every one of you like literally so much. You guys have been so incredible over you know my posting of Hendrix and you know my oversharing and just the congratulations and the love um I just can't thank you guys enough you guys are so sweet um so yeah thank you so much do you want to see maybe the babe maybe my Christmas tree don't even let's not talk about it oh my god give me in you guys he's really sweet that's his bib he's not suffocating Ooh. he's not suffocating I promise it's just his bib because he spits up a lot so um yeah so thank you guys again for watching i love you and i will talk to you hopefully in uh less than two months bye